What you want, psycho? I heard about the case you're working on, the Morelli one. Thought you might need my expertise. You heard wrong, freak. That case is gonna break soon, and you need to keep your nose out of my business. That's not what I heard. No suspects, no leads. I can't help. You can go fuck yourself, Morgan. I have leads, and I'm gonna follow up on them. I don't need you telling me how to do my job. I just don't want this case to go unsolved because you didn't let me take a look at the forensics. Get it through your head, Cycle, that I don't need you. The only reason this case is sitting here is because I'm getting stonewalled by a person. A human being. You wouldn't know anything about dealing with one of those. When I get this lead to talk, the case will be back on track. If I need your opinion on blood spatter after that, then I know where you work. Now get the hell out of my face! Fine. I know when it's best to walk away. He's holding something back, I'm sure of it. I bet he has some notes in his desk. Harry taught me better than that. It, Dex. Fuck me. I tried to present the refrigerated truck idea at the briefing, and LaGuardia ridiculed me in front of the- I'm sorry, Deb. Maybe you can try again. Hasn't got a clue. She's still stuck on her idiot witness theory. With a boss like that, maybe I'm better off in Vice. If you want to be a homicide detective, start believing in yourself. That's just it. I knew what I wanted to say, but when I stood up, it all disappeared. It was pointless. Anyway. The only reason I got in was because the captain said they had to let me in. He did it because he knows you have what it takes. You just need a boost to get you started. I don't know, Dex. It's just, sometimes I'm sure I'm gonna die a meter maid. Deb, there's another way. Maybe you should start looking for the truck. Sometimes blending in can frustrate my dark passenger. Hey, Dexter, I'm thinking about growing a goatee. What do you think? Sure, that could work for you. Could work? Crap, that's the kiss of death. Fine, no goatee. Hey, you're bald. Oh. I wanted to look more scientific before I write my future award-winning forensics paper. Guess the topic. How to annoy your coworker? No, really, guess. I'll give you a hint. Bubble urethral. Reproductive glands. Wonderful. The worst part is that so many people have no idea of the complications in identifying and analyzing bodily fluids. I could go on and on, but I want to save the juiciest details for the page. You get it? <laughs> juiciest. I'd run this past somebody that isn't familiar with what you do. You're right. How can anyone be on Team Masuka if I stay in the background, mysterious and elusive? I should run my theories past some new people. I think Dokes would love to hear about this. That's a great idea! I'll call Dokes over here right now. He's gonna eat this up. Make sure he understands everything before you let him leave. Not much here that isn't already in the case file. Morelli's mother, though, is a different story. Says she was generally uncooperative and seemed to be holding something back. Some kind of grudge against police in general. Definitely worth checking out.
Dexter. Hi. When you get this, could you come over? I can't stop thinking about our last conversation, and just please come when you can. Everything else will have to wait. I need to see where this truck is going. Hanging in there? Let's go over this again. Knock yourself out. I need to get to the center of this convenient little package you're trying to hand me, where of all the ice trucks in Miami, you find the one driven by the killer. Bit of a coincidence. This will teach me to tailgate. You followed it and didn't get a look at the driver? Nothing but headlights and a flying head. Then he must have already had the head with him in the front seat. It's weird. Why would he keep it there? So he could use the carpool lane? It just seems odd that your sister has this ice truck theory and here you are to back it up. She's good, Lieutenant. I'll tell you who's good. You are. Dokes arrested the cokehead killer and you were right. It was the boyfriend. How'd you get to be so smart? I throw myself into my work. I'll fill out that report tomorrow. I'm late for a date. Dexter, it's been a while since I called. Sorry, traffic was killer. I was worried. I didn't know what to do. I called in sick. I'm sorry you were worried. Oh, a case, of course. I guess I should have assumed, but then you didn't call. I thought maybe you were upset with me. I don't upset easily. I'm glad. Okay. That's great, I don't want- And I want you. Oh, okay. Thanks. But I was just on my way out the door. Cody and Aster spent the night with a friend, but Cody just got sick. I'm sorry to leave this- Whatever you want. Just tell me we're okay. That's all I wanted to know. We're okay. Promise. Yes, it just helps to hear it from you. Sure thing. And thank you for your offer. Okay, that was close. I'll admit that the idea of sex with Rita is interesting. But if I don't keep a lid on this, it could be the end of things. Mistakes in my line of work are deadly.